Good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like, subscribe, and share with your fellow denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips using the blockchain-based Brave Browser and BAT tokens. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. To those of you that made a contribution, I sincerely thank you very much. If you have not done so yet, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the awesome new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one exchange planner in the Dinar community for a reason. Both the links to the powerful secure blockchain Brave Browser as well as the must-have Currency Exchange Planner are in the description box below this video. First article of interest for today. Al Sistani sets the ruling on selling foreign currencies at time above their market value. Religious authority Ali Al Sistani defined the ruling on selling foreign currencies as forward above their market value. Al Sistani answered a question in which he said, Is it permissible for a person to buy cash and give a specific profit for it? Sistani said in his answer, There is nothing wrong with selling foreign currency in the local currency even if it is more than the market value, in the future, but it is not permissible to increase the price named in exchange for extending the period. Next article of interest, Banks and Investment Support The banking sector as a whole is taken on a weak role in the development process, and there are several reasons behind this, which we implicitly mention in the context of the hadith. At the same time, I count on him and I mean the banking sector especially the private banking sector, to contribute effectively to the supposed construction and reconstruction process. How to solve this paradox? They are in complete agreement that the failure of the major borrowers to repay their liabilities is one of the reasons the banks are reluctant to extend the credit, if not to say that it has not been practiced. Quite frankly and transparently, there was a complete lack of trust between the parties to the equation, borrowed clients and banks on the one hand, and deposited customers and banks on the one hand a second. With regard to the relationship between depositors and banks, it found its way to a solution by adopting the Iraqi Central Bank, the subject of establishing a company to guarantee deposits, and here are indications of the return of confidence appearing again. As for the relationship between major borrowers and banks, they are awaiting an optimum solution. Perhaps the closest experience to solving this problem is the sisterly country's recent and successful step taken to spare its bank's financial losses and collapses, such as the one that occurred in the mortgage in 2008, which led to huge losses and its effects are still common in many. In summary, the experience is the establishment of a central entity in Dubai, the first data alliance to facilitate business with a number of major Emirati banks in order to exchange customer data and introduce them to the hypothesis, no, your customer. The mechanism of this alliance requires that an additional number be allocated to each customer, the digital customer, except for his secret number, which relates to the movement of his funds, deposits and personal information. This is a red line that absolutely no bank can disclose. As for the customer number, this is issued by the central authority, and it is the only party to implement this program. Through the customer number, the banks can reveal the customer's credibility and financial solvency and not falter in order to open one or more accounts in the allied banks, thereby securing the bank's credit. This method enables the banks to identify the real investor customer by exchanging information with the ally banks and thus can expand their credits with less risk. If not, say will the customer's idea be adopted in our banks for the purpose of expanding investment credits in the future, with our confidence that the central bank adopts everything that is in the interest of banks and supports its required development role. Next article of interest. The Association of Private Banks holds a Banking Cards and Electronic Services course. The Iraqi Private Banking Association held, on Sunday, the Banking Cards and Electronic Banking Services course. The course is held in cooperation between the Association of Iraqi Private Banks and the Center for Banking Studies at the Central Bank of Iraq and a group of joint efforts. 
and 43 trainees participated in it, representing a number of governmental and private banks. The course also aims to strengthen the mechanism in the work of each technology in electronic payment and the role of customer service in light of the competitive environment. Next article of interest. The worst week of oil prices since 2011 and the Iraqi budget is threatened by a record deficit. An expert explains. The economic expert, Nabi al-Marsumi, revealed today, Saturday, the possibility of the Iraqi economy being subjected to a major economic shock after the drop in oil prices due to the coronavirus, indicating that the deficit in the Iraqi budget will rise at record rates. The decree illustrates. And the decree said in a post on Facebook and followed by Yes Iraq that Iraqi oil revenues for 2019 amounted to $78.5 billion at an average price of $61 per barrel, and after the decline in the price of Brent benchmark crude to $49.42, it means that Iraq will sell oil up to $47 a barrel after deducting the cost of transportation, insurance, and quality differences. The Iraqi oil revenues in 2020 will decrease by 23%, meaning that they will decrease by $18 billion, which means that they will not exceed $60.5 billion in 2020. That is, the deficit in the 2020 budget, which amounts to 51 trillion dinars, equivalent to $46.6 billion, will become $63.6 billion, or 71 trillion dinars. He added, the financial and economic crisis is staring and suffocating, and the country without a government knows, plans and bears its responsibility to get out of this economic stalemate that Iraq has reached not only because of the large decline in oil prices, but also because of the wrong economic policies of successive governments that have failed to diversify the economy and sources of income. Oil prices are falling. Global oil prices recorded on Friday, February 28. 2020, their worst week since 2011 due to the rapid spread of the mutated coronavirus, COVID-19, which strengthens speculation that OPEC+, Plus, which includes the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, and allies from outside the organization, will reach an agreement to support prices. According to Bloomberg News, oil prices and futures contracts on the New York Stock Exchange fell for the seventh day in a row after growing fears of the spread of the virus pushed Wall Street shares to their biggest decline in a decade. In light of the drop in oil prices by about 14% last week, there are indications that OPEC Plus is close to reaching an agreement on a move to stop price bleeding before a scheduled meeting in the Austrian capital Vienna this week. According to Reuters, the price of Brent benchmark crude fell to $49.42 a decrease of 2.36 cents, or 4.56 percent, while West Texas Intermediate Barrel fell to $44.33 cents, a decrease of 2.70 cents, or 5.84 percent. A senior OPEC official said, the organization and its allies are showing a renewed commitment to reach an agreement at a time when the global economy is heading towards its worst performance since 2019. According to Bloomberg, there is a positive side to global markets, as oil prices are currently not economically beneficial to shale oil producers in the United States. Whatever expected drop in production this week, it will be very little, too late, as oil prices have fallen rapidly, said Hu Ili, economist at Overseas Chinese Banking Group in Singapore. He added, if OPEC Plus cuts production by 1 million barrels per day, it may support these prices slightly but any other matter may cause disappointment. Next article of interest. Parliamentary Finance. Corona's impact on the Iraq-China agreement temporary. On Sunday, the Parliamentary Finance Committee considered that the agreement between Iraq and China will have some temporary effect until the coronavirus is contained. The decision of the committee MP Ahmed al-Safar in an interview with al-Sumaria News that the virus corona is an emergency, affected the relationship of China with all countries and not only with Iraq, referring to the impact on the entire global economy on the grounds that China represents the world's second-largest economy. Al-Safar added, 
The agreement concluded between Iraq and China will definitely have some effect due to the spread of the virus, adding that it is a temporary effect that ends in containing the disease. Al Safar pointed out that Iraq gave the first and second batches of oil to China, explaining that the rest of the batches will remain on the government's policy and the measures supposed to be taken to protect Iraq from the transmission of infection from China. In September 2019, the resigned Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi announced that Iraq would join China's massive infrastructure project known as the Belt and Road Initiative. The Belt and Road Initiative includes huge global projects from ports, railways and industrial parks spanning Asia, Africa, the Middle East and Europe, in which trillions of dollars will be invested. The Chinese project has been criticized for accumulating debts on poor countries, while raising Washington's concern as it sees it as an attempt by China to expand its influence. The crisis that China is currently experiencing due to the coronavirus shows the great value that the Chinese economy represents to the world, and how the global markets and major economies have collapsed due to the Chinese economies being subjected to the cessation of some of its economic activities due to the corona crisis. Experts believe that the Chinese economy will face after controlling the crisis and corona. There are updates that restore confidence in Chinese products and whether they are free of virus residues. There are precautionary measures that will accompany many countries, especially those imported from China, about health concerns, which will delay the period of China's economic restoration at the global level. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter for all of today's articles of interest. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the new Currency Exchange Planner Companion before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails and they boot up the new quantum financial system on the blockchain. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. The program is made so everyone can afford to save in gold, by offering it one gram at a time. Start saving in a real true asset like gold, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. Why do you think all the central banks are loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out, knowledge is power, using that newfound knowledge is powerful. Over and out, for now, the Denarian.